Welcome students. Today in our mathematics class, we are going to see unit 4 geometry. In this session, we are going to construct a similar triangle. Example 10 in unit 4. Before getting into the construction procedure, let us have a brief look at the basic concept of similarity. Look at these two images. These two images are the passport size photos of a man. We can see they are one and the same. If you measure the dimensions of the head, they will be equal. Such figures are called congruent figures. Look at these two images. They look identical but vary in size, isn't it? If you measure the dimensions of the forget, they won't be equal. The second image is a proportional enlargement of the first one. We call such figures as similar figures. So, figures which have same shape but proportional sizes are known as similar figures. With this basic idea, we are going to define similar triangles. Two triangles are said to be similar if their corresponding angles are equal and their corresponding sides are proportional, that is in the same ratio. Look at these two triangles, triangle ABC and triangle PQR. Angle A is equal to angle P, angle B is equal to angle Q, angle C equal to angle R. All the three angles are equal, corresponding angles are equal. But what about the sides? AB is 5 cm, PQ is 10 cm, BC 7 cm, QR 14 cm, AC is 8 cm, whereas PR is 16 cm. We can see the sides are proportionally increased. We can see this AB by PQ, BC by QR, CA by RP is equal to 1 by 2. So, here all the three angles are equal and the sides are proportional. So, we can say triangle ABC is similar to triangle PQR. Now, let us read the question. Construct a triangle similar to a given triangle PQR with its sides equal to 3 by 5 of the corresponding sides of the triangle PQR. Scale factor 3 by 5 is less than 1. To visualize the triangle, we should write the scale factor first and we should put an arrow mark from the denominator to numerator like this. Okay. Here, 3 is smaller, 5 is bigger. This means what? Bigger to smaller, bigger to smaller. The resulting triangle P dash Q R dash will look like this. One important note, whenever we draw a triangle bigger to smaller, P dash and R dash will be inside the triangle. This is very important. Next, one important uh, general instruction. Whenever we draw a bigger to smaller triangle, we take an equilateral triangle with the sides 7 cm. Actually, we can take any triangle with any measurements. But if we take an equilateral triangle, the diagram will look nice. Let us draw the rough diagram first. Mark the points P, Q and R. Next, join P, Q, join Q, R and join R, P. Mark 7 cm on all the sides. Next, mark P dash, R dash. Next, join them. Next step is, we are going to construct an equilateral triangle, the real diagram. Draw a ray Qx with Q as center and 7 cm radius, draw an arc on Qx. Mark the point of intersection as R. At this step, you may wonder why we are doing like this, sir instead of taking directly 7 cm on scale. Plastic scale is a transparent medium, so in order to avoid error due to parallax, we follow this practice. Without changing the radius, now we are going to draw two arcs at Q and R. This is first arc and this is next arc. Mark the point of intersection as P, join PQ, next 
join PR. Now we get the triangle PQR. Next step is to draw a ray QY at Q such that angle RQY is equal to 45 degree. Once again a question arises here, why 45 degree? We may take any acute angle here, but by taking 45 degree, we can draw the lines more legibly. Okay. Now let us draw the ray QY. Next step is starting from Q, we are going to draw 5 arcs. Let us draw the radius of each arc is 1 centimeter. This is the first arc. Mark the point of intersection as Q1. Next Q2. Next Q3. Next Q4. And finally Q5. Next join Q5 and R. Next step. We are going to draw a small arc at Q5 without changing this radius draw another arc at Q3 because the numerator value is 3. Now mark the point of intersection as I1. Next I measure the distance between these two points at smaller arc. And with this distance as radius, draw another arc at I1 and mark the point of intersection as I2. Now, draw a line through Q3 and I2. It means QR at a point. Mark this point as R dash. Okay. Next, we are going to repeat the same steps at R and R dash. Draw a small radius R without changing at R dash. Mark the point of intersection as I3 and measure the distance between the two points of the previous arc. And with this distance as radius, draw another arc at I3, mark the point of intersection as I4 and draw a line joining R dash and I4. It meets PQ at a point, mark the point as P dash. Now P dash Q R dash is the required triangle. Hope you all enjoyed this session. Thanks for watching.